let's try that. Is that on? That's on. Right. That's on. And then we're on that one. Hello, guys. How are we doing? I'm in Tetbury. <laughs> um, yes, I'm in Tetbury up in the Cotswolds. So I've, uh, I've had a nice ride around here. Um, I'm slap bang in the middle of Tetbury at the moment. Uh, I've bought myself some lunch. I've bought myself some lunch, so um, let's go and uh, have a little bit of a ride. Um, we're going to go to Malmesbury next, and uh, then back down to Bradford on Avon, and then back home. <laughs> if I can get on. Right, let's go. Josh is making a lot of noise. Right, go. Go. Right, let's go. Hold on. Right. I've got my box, get out of it. <laughs> this is one way along here. As you get out of here then. Oh, it's a nice little place, isn't it? Middle of Tetbury, this is. Oh, I remember this bit. This is, oh, I remember all this. This is where they filmed that, um, that funny thing, wasn't it? Oh, I've got to go down that way, have I? Oh, OK, then. Not a good place to store, Ost. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of Tetbury. Now we're going this way now. Well, we'll find somewhere to have a bite to eat in a minute. Tetbury Trail. Blue sky, look at it, flipping it. Eh? Yeah, so how have we been, how we, uh, oh look, that's wet now. How have we been keeping then, peeps? Um, hope everybody's ready for Christmas. I think I'll, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be, to be honest. <laughs> Which is not very, but there we go, never mind. I find a bit of a hazard. These slow signs they put on the road is are incredibly slippery. You gotta try and I always try and I try and hit them on the L. <laughs> I try and hit the L of slow. So you, you, you try and cover the least amount of it as possible. Try to go between the S and the O. <laughs> that's that's what I aim to do. <laughs> We've got to right up here. Broken bruh, oh dear. Oh, that's not a good Well, such an such interesting, interesting little lane. What's time then? Half past twelve. Still got a pop in. Not a, not a lot that I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, so where we go? Oh, we, got, oh, we haven't got to Malms. Is this Malmesbury? I have no idea. Town centre this way. Okay, town centre. Town centre. Little shop there, got um, got a sledge, a little sled for sale. <laughs> Obviously they get a lot of snow here. 
Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's all very Cotswoldy, isn't it? Isn't it nice? That's a nice place, isn't it? Through traffic. Oh, I guess we've got to go down that way. Road or something out there. So this is Malesbury. Oh, very nice, isn't it? I wonder what was in there then. Not a lot, but it's a little factory or something. If we find somewhere nice to pull over, I'll pull over and have some lunch. Have a chin wag. <laughs> Got to find somewhere to pull in as well and have some lunch, haven't I? I suppose he wants me to overtake him, does he? Yeah, probably. I don't know where to honour. Oh, I don't know. What are we on now then? We're on Foxley. Should we overtake him? No, I better not. It's a big farm, isn't it? Nice to see the farms are still here, though. Yeah. countryside look at it blinking beautiful it's what you want go for the soul in it hey oh dear oh I'm so pleased I did this today I really am it's a lovely cottage in it cool imagine living around here wouldn't it be nice all got to do it left all their little chat church just nice doing this eh? all around the oh there's a nice stealth there we go then guys let's stop here for lunch shall we this is going to be our lunch break stop i think right stop and have some lunch and uh See you in a bit. Right, that was a very nice lunch. I enjoyed that. Yes, I enjoyed that. Nice sandwich. I've um, I was just stood here watching the blue tits in the tree there, which was very nice. So uh, now we're all fed and watered, and uh. I guess we'll get underway again, so um, let's go. Right, 50 minutes, according to this, 21 miles. 50 minutes? I suppose it is country lanes, isn't it? Right, oh, blimey, that's low. Right. I'm, I'm charging the um, 360 while I'm riding. So we'll see how we go. Right, let's go. Oh, 
night. And lovely round here, isn't it? Oh, someone's overshot the road there, look. There's lots of um, police tape. <laughs> That stupid thing, don't tell me that's come loose. The city, um, city foot rubbers, they keep coming loose on this bike. I cannot find a single thing that actually fits because they all come loose. Every single one of them, they all work loose. I've tried sticking them on, various different glues, I've tried everything and they still keep coming loose. Really annoying. I've bought quite a few off of um, bought quite a few rubbers off of eBay actually, but they've all been rubbish because they've all split. They've only been on there like five minutes and they've just broken. So North loose. Well, this is a nice old house. Look at this. I bet this was a pub at once upon a time or an inn. The vine tree, it's called. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's busy in there. Cool. Oh, I've got a lovely open fire. I can smell it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Oh, no, not... Oh, flipping it. Oh, blimey, we've got to go through that, have we? Let's let him go first, then. Well, we've got to go up to the main road, have we? Yeah. Oh, we've got a forge to go through. Was deep, flipping it. Well, that no, wasn't too bad actually. Oh, countryside. I can imagine. I'm definitely going to have to come up and do this again in the summer. This would be nice in the when the weather's nice. Yeah, definitely. Oh, there's um, so it's like what used to be an old windmill over there. I think that's over towards Chippenham Way. I remember seeing that before. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, definitely need to bring some packets of tissues. So you definitely have that in the top box, really, or in the tank bag. Yes, any of you guys ride bikes, um, how do you uh, pack your equipment? What do you carry and how do you pack it? I've, I've got two little um, pannier bags on the side. Um, on the side. Of, I must show you, the, you guys the bike, because you've not really... A, I've never really given you a walk around, have I? So um, I'll have to stop and do that one day. Oh, that's a nice cafe, look at that. Cafe Tap, Flying Monk. It's <laughs> nice. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> what were we saying? Um, must be railway station there. Um, yes, um, I'll show you, give you a run round one day. Um, yes, how do you carry your stuff? What do you put in? What do you put where? Um, I've got a little, I've got a small bag of tools in um, in one little pannier bag. Um, and a set of waterproof trousers. And um, what have I got in the other? Oh, just padlocks and stuff mostly in the other one. Church. Yeah, just um, chain and padlock, and um, in that one. Where are we now then? What's this place? 
Hal, Hal Avington. Hal, Hall Avington, I know where this is, I remember this one. Hall Avington, yeah. Hall Avington, but it's green. Oh. There used to be shops or something once upon a time. Somebody's house now. Most of these villages have died really, haven't they? You know, they've sort of, they've just turned into people's houses basically. Which is a bit sad, I think. Oh, there's a garage. A nice little church. London House. You've got lots of London houses, don't you? Little village. Don't see no scumble. I suppose you would, would you really? Not nowadays. Oh, very drafty round my neck. <laughs> Honest guys, if you if you're uh, the same age as me and you used to ride a bike, go and get another one. Honestly, it's so much fun. I mean, to be honest, I do. Lo I still love Sammy, but unfortunately, she's off the road at the moment because I can't afford to. I can't afford the, uh, all the payments and everything to keep her on the road. So I'm trying to save a bit of money by, um, by parking her up for a few months. On me. I mean, she. Um, the MOT's already run out, and um, yeah, the MOT's run out, and the tax the tax is twenty six pound a month, something like that. I thought oh, I can't warrant keep paying that every month to be sat on the driveway. Um, unfortunately, I can't get on to um, can't get into Bristol anymore because of that stupid. Uh, Stupid zone rubbish they've brought out. Clean air zone. There's a big puddle there. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the clean air zone stuffed me. I can't go into Bristol now because of that. So thanks for that, Bristol City Council. So that's done me out of work because I can't take the van in to collect the bikes to fix. So I'm stuffed. So thank you very much. That's really helped me, that has. So it's do that's also done me out of work. Because I, um, I had quite a few customers in Hot Wells, you know. I had customers with um, um, trikes and tandems and stuff. Things like that. Of course, the only, I can't put them in a car. I can only get them in the bike, so. I've done that, really. Oh, Castle Coombe that way. You know, Castle Coombe, the. Uh, the race circuit. I think this is this is skirting closer to uh, Chippenham, I believe. This this route. So. Oh blimey! Look at all that rubbish. Come on, look at that. Lee Delamere. 
That goes down there for services, isn't it? <laughs> he down there. Actually, we're probably crossing the M4 down here, look. Oh, here's his services, look. Oh. There's a back entrance into the services there. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, look, there's the M4. M4, isn't it? Yeah. That's Swindon that way. Bristol that way. Chippenham's over that way somewhere. Uh, Bath and Bradford on Avon is over that way, so hopefully that's where we're going. <laughs> yeah, everywhere's really flooded round here. <coughs> I did wonder if it was going to be a bit like that. Knighton, St Michael, New Priory Farm, I think that would. Ooh. So yeah, we've been up through the Cotswolds and now we're uh, heading down into Wiltshire now. Still got lots of Cotswold stone here though, haven't they? Which is quite nice. Easter Piercy, Stanton St Quinton. Housing estates everywhere, isn't there? Ugh. Still very Cotswoldy, still, isn't it? A lot of money, too. <laughs> I'd love one of these little cottages, they're really nice. These houses here on the right, look, they're really nice, aren't they? Oh, can't see what they said. Kingston Club. Johnny Huntsman. Tally ho. Oh, got to him right here. What do you know then? Around to that. Oh, look all this. That's funny, isn't it? Come out of there. That's really interesting. Well, really is taking you off the beaten track, innit, guys? Look. Oh, yep, yeah, we've got enough fuel, that's so, right. It's a nice house, isn't it? Look at the water. Oh, dear. And we don't get flooded out. Oh, yes. Oh, no. It's a big house, isn't it? Oh, for flip's sake. Jesus, the state of this road, man. Oh, God, Mr. Squirrel. Bloody hell, look at the state of this. It's in the mud, man. Flipping hell, this is bloody off-roading, this is. Ooh. God, this is sketchy. Blinking it. <laughs> oh, true ATV. ADV, AT, ATV, isn't it? A, ADV? AD, Ad, Adventure Rider or something, ADV. So lovely countryside. It does sound really nice, this exhaust. It really does make the engine sound noisy, though. Considering it's only a 125, it's such a noisy exhaust. It, it makes the thing sound like a, like a 400 or a 500cc because of the type of exhaust. <laughs> Oh, 
I think that's why it pops. I think that's why it backfires because it it sort of um, it sucks back it sucks air back up the exhaust, even though I've got baffles in it. I think it's probably well, they're just standard baffles from um, from Amazon, you know. I should have ran here, wouldn't it? Cool. Oh, bright away there, look. Mm. Ooh, look, look, left there. left here. We're really getting out in the countryside today, peeps, aren't we? Really getting out today. Yeah, I've got some, um, I don't know if you've got, oh, I expect you, some of, well, I don't know if you have, but I've been watching some of these other people, like motorcyclists, and um, they've been doing all these epic adventures. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Itchy Boots. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if you've heard of Itchy Boots. She's, um, she goes all over the place. She goes all over the world on her bike. She got about one and a half million subscribers, I think. She has now. She didn't when I first started watching her. And, um, anyway, yeah, so she, it's fun. Uh, C90 Adventures as well. That's definitely worth a watch. Small capacity bike. He's got a 90cc Honda. And um, he basically, he goes all over the place. He's been all over the world, across Asia, like from across America, with his girlfriend. And oh, he's done all sorts of things. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Love watching his videos. And um, there's another chap, what's his, what's his name? Um, Helmet Head? Is it Helmet Head? Helmet Head, I think his name is. He's, he's just done one, he's just rode around the whole, um, he's rode around the whole of the UK on a little monkey bike, <laughs> little 125. Quite good. I haven't watched all of his, I've only watched a few. So, uh, yeah, there's, um, it's about it really, I think. I can't really think of any others I've been watching. Oh dear, look at these wet lanes. Lots of water everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's been fun. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and do a, have a few adventures myself next year. I've got quite a few in my mind. I've got quite a few planned. I want to do the Isle of Wight. Um, 
I can't even think now. <laughs> what was I going to do? Can't remember. Can't remember. I'm straight across here. Yeah, so, um, Isle of Wight. Yeah, I want to do the Isle of Wight. Do the Gower again, because that was fun. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed doing the Gower. 